Hi guys, I wanted to share today a little bit around this concept of coaching up your team. So yes, I am a child care business coach. I coach other child care business owners and leaders, but I cannot forget about my staff. I know that we many times are the director of our programs or maybe just the owner. I'm not saying just to belittle it, but we may be the owner. We may be the director. We may be both but we also have to be the coach to our staff. What am I saying? We hire our staff, we train them, we have an orientation, um, we provide professional development, all of those things. However, uh, a lot of times people need individualization, right? Think of the children that we serve. They have circle time as a large group, they have music and movement as a large group, but we also have in our lesson plans individualization where we can focus on that individual child's development needs, their skills, where we see uh, where they are currently, but then we have a plan for them to develop them to where they have the potential to go and then ultimately be kindergarten ready, right? That's what we do. Same thing with our staff. Uh, we want to hone in on the skills that they have, but also be able to focus on their potential so that they can grow into that thing. I know we have some staffing issues, shortages, right? It's a staffing crisis, but sometimes we can grow our own leaders. They have potential and we just have to be able to see that potential in them and then develop the leaders that we need. So here's how we start. Start with one. Start with your, maybe your number two. I, I, I like to say um, growing up your second leader. And if you don't have one right now, sometimes it's just a matter of paying attention to the staff that you do have. Who is the person who volunteers to do above and beyond their current job description duties? When you're having like a fun event, a family event, or something like that, they're like, oh, I'll do it. If there's some um, task that maybe um, you have that you haven't delegated because sometimes we don't get the help we need because we don't ask for it. So um, that could even be a test. You can, you know, say, listen, I have this particular thing that I'm working on. Who would like to be a part? We start with seeing who wants to volunteer, who's hungry for it. And then we start to share some things, right? It doesn't mean that we're giving up a uh, payroll. It doesn't mean that we are passing off HR duties, but it can really start by, listen, guys, we are having picture day next month um is there anyone who would like to kind of coordinate it maybe you know which classes will go when at what time do we have family volunteers for it can be something that you typically have but you're going to start to loosen up the reins and the more you let go of the more you allow someone else to be empowered and grow the other thing we want to do is have one-on-ones those one-on-ones are huge uh, you get to really have a conversation with them ask some questions see where they want to go Sometimes we don't know because we don't ask. You know, what's next for you? What are you thinking within this next year? Two years, three years. And then you find out where they want to go. And it's like, oh, um, most of the times we uh, promote from within. I like to see who I have before I bring someone in. Unless it's something that I want that we don't have and I want to mix it up a little bit. But... We can create our own pipeline by developing the people that we have, making sure that we consistently talk about our core values, our vision, our goals, that way they are aligned and we just can just give them um, additional professional development, support them with personal development, like support them where they are. Um, I like to get away from um, just checking off the box of we need 12 professional development hours per year. We're not just checking off boxes. We may get, we're going to get a minimum. We'll have a minimum of 12 professional development hours, but they're not just going to be something we threw together and said, everyone take these online trainings. Mm -mm. We might have something based on what everyone needs, but outside of that, I'm going to give you what you need. And sometimes it may have professional development hours to it. Sometimes you just need to be able to sit with me or shadow me, or I might see something come through and I'm, I send it to them and say, look, I saw this and thought about you. Right. And now we get to communicate a little more closely. Right. So that's how we really start to develop our people and become their coach. Um, have those one on ones, schedule them. They don't 
have to be every single week. It could be once a month. It could start with once a quarter. I'm ultimately saying start by just seeking out or, or paying attention to where your staff are now. Who does what? Who likes to do what? Who is amazing at bulletin boards? Who's amazing at newsletters, taking photos, right? Pay attention to who you have and, and start to distribute those tasks, okay? That's how we start to develop our people. And then the coaching comes with providing feedback or um, seeing something that they're doing. Mention it. Let them know that you see what they're doing. And when you do that, that starts to encourage people like, oh, you noticed that? You saw that? Yep, speak on it and start to feed them what it is that they need, but also what you need. And so let me give you an example of something that you may want to relinquish. Um, so say, for example, you want to start taking a half day on Tuesdays and either you go and work from home or you go have self-care or whatever it is that you want to do. And maybe newsletters go out on Tuesdays. So you may say to um, a staff person who seems to have those skills, um, would you be able to send out the newsletter on Tuesday, right? And no, will it be perfect? It won't be perfect, but they get the task, they get to own it, there's empowerment there, and then you just get better and better, right? You just add feedback, um, you support them, um, give them suggestions as time goes on you may send them resources you may send them a website you are pretty much preparing them so that they can get better and better at that task and ultimately you're like oh I don't have to do it anymore right that is the goal that's the goal is for us to identify where we as the business owner would like to go so that we can start to then delegate empower and level up the staff that we have but a lot of that just takes intentionality. It takes vision. It takes um, you having a goal specifically. And so the whole purpose of this and what we ultimately want to do is allow ourselves to be the business owner. Allow us to spend time working on our business and not in it, as they say. Um, that is a real thing. And so we not only want to sustain our business, but we want to grow it. The only way we can do that is to stop being busy in the weeds and be able to really sit and focus on where we want to grow our business. We also want to grow our people. Sometimes people may start to feel like, I don't have any more growth here, so I'm going to you know, move on. I like to create new opportunities so staff get to see here is where I can grow. Um, and that's what all of this is about. We're really just creating space for ourselves to grow and for other staff. I want to be able to move out the way. I want to move out the way so that you can grow and take my place. I am always trying to level up my next replacement. Um, so that is how we will develop our staff, be their coach, support them, and we're all better for it. The return on your investment will pay off. All right. So thank you for joining me. Talk soon.